As the vaccination numbers continue to increase, many people may need to get a booster shot soon, and companies are now working out a plan to keep safe employees safe as they return back to the office for the first time in a long time. The Emory University's Dr. Neil Winover joins us live. Good morning to you, Doc. Good, Good morning, to see Portia. you. Uh, the Biden like administration it. has aimed for 70% of Americans to have received at least one dose of a COVID-19 vaccine by the 4th of July. What, is, what are the odds that that's really going to happen at this point? Probably low. Yeah. We're averaging about 1% of total Americans being uh, immunized per week. So when you do the math, probably looking around 67, 68 percent, which is still pretty good. I think we'll reach that 70 percent number sometime during the summer. But the biggest concern is really that some states are falling far short of that. Mm -hmm. And due to that, because of the P1 variant and then the emergence of the Delta variant, which was the India variant, which is now the predominant strain in the UK, 6 percent of the cases here. The concern is that we may have pockets of outbreaks in those states where the vaccination numbers are not robust. Right. And what does that say overall then for this concept of reaching herd immunity? Well, it's going to take more time. Mm -hmm. We don't want herd immunity to be reached by natural infection. We want it to be vaccination. But we need to get close to that 75 percent, 80 percent number. But the slower we reach herd immunity, the harder is it going to be to contain these types of outbreaks. I think we'll see a third spike. Hopefully it will not be anywhere near the, the two spikes that we've seen already. But the concern is that you'll have another third uptick. Understood. All right. Well, it's been more than six months now since the vaccinations first began in the U.S. Uh, let's talk about booster shots and the need for booster shots coming up here. What in the next few weeks, months, depending upon when you were initially immunized? Yeah, the pharmaceutical manufacturers have mentioned it, but thus far the data shows that the protection has been quite robust. And I'll be very surprised if we need booster shots this year. I, I think that uh, the, the earliest will be 2022 and hopefully even further out. We'll have to see. But the, the science is still emerging. We're still collecting data regarding that. Mm -hmm. But so far, so good. Fingers crossed that the immunity is long lived and we'll just have to see exactly how long lived and we we'll have to they're following people's antibody levels okay. and seeing when the levels drop. At what point do they drop that you're at risk from acquiring uh, infection? So these studies are ongoing. We'll have to see, but fingers crossed on that. that just quick follow up there. You were talking about how is that assessed? Because I remember seeing on my um, immunization card, you know, it, like there was almost like a timestamp for when we're going to have to do this again. But you say that that's fluctuating based on these studies. Oh, uh, well, yeah, the, the timestamp is just to show that you've gotten your vaccinations and they've been properly spaced uh, apart. Mm -hmm. But these studies look at antibody levels and they look at when antibody levels drop to what levels are you no longer protected where you can have breakthrough infections. And that's the critical thing, because once we know what antibody levels put you at risk for these breakthrough infections, then it's time to get uh, a booster shot. All right, Dr. Neil Winner, good information. As always, we appreciate how thorough you are. It's good to see you, and we'll talk to you again soon.